Okay, I guess it's time to add the Howard Feed and Wax. It has beeswax and orange oil. It's recommended if you're using Howard's Restore Finish. You just have to wait a half an hour, and it's been way over half an hour. <clears throat> and you just soak in a small cloth, wipe on, and then after, I think I get my glasses again. After 20 minutes, minimum, you wipe off the excess. Then you polish it off with a clean soft cloth. And I've never used this stuff before, so let's give it a shot. You can sure smell the orange in it. Well, I can. You can. Already it's much shinier. Much, much shinier. This should go pretty quick. show went pretty fast. Can you see the shine? We'll give that at least 20 minutes and we'll buff it out. What I'm doing, gonna do after I uh, finished with this cabinet, before I put it all back together, is include a include a couple of high-res images at the end of this video, so you can compare with uh, the cabinet looked like before I started working on it, <clears throat> and what it looks like currently. certainly is coming out a lot better than I ever thought it would without restripping it and all that stuff. Definitely wasn't going to do all that. Okay, well I'm going to wait uh, at least a half an hour and then we'll buff it out. Okay, it's been way over half an hour now. This is uh, polish with using a clean soft cloth. This t-shirt should work pretty good.
I don't know. It doesn't seem to be polishing up as good as I would hoped it would. It seems dull in some areas and brighter in some other areas. I don't know if it's the Howard's Restore finish that did that or I'm perhaps thinking that this cabin was pretty dull when I got it. It may be dried out and it could be so porous that it's just soaking in the, the wax. So what I think I might do, it still feels nice and smooth, is put another layer of wax on and see if it then if it polishes up better. Okay, that's a lot thicker than I initially put it on. Because it did say really soak the rag. pretty well covered. See if this polishes up any better. This has been sitting for half an hour too. The camera for this you can see better. Clean cloth here. It's uh, a lot better than the top. But it doesn't have a real big shine to it, or sheen, as I would say, I guess. So I think we can put another layer on here too. And the more I get on here, anyways, the better it's going to protect, anyways. Okay. lay it on here. It's been way over a half an hour again after the second coating of the beeswax in orange. And see how this polishes up. Well, already I can see that it's shining up a lot better. The wood, I guess, was so dry that it just soaked up that wheat. Um, Feed and wax. I almost forgot the name again. Yeah, that's looking quite nice.
not sure, but I have a feeling that the top may still need another coating. We won't know until we get to that. The bottom part of the cabinet, though, came out nice. much better. That's what it looks like it needed. It needed a couple of coats of that uh, feed and wax. appears to be one darker spot here. I can angle it right so you can see it. And I'm not sure what that was. Um, I can feel a slight depression. Maybe again it was something got pushed into the wood. But it depends on the angle, but it really looks darker here. You can see that. I'm glad I put two coats of the weed and feed on here. Feed and wax. I'll never get that name straight. Works good. All right. One thing I did notice, though, because it shined up quite a bit more. I'm still not really happy with the top. The whole thing came out really nice, except for the top. Could be because it gets the dirtiest, the dustiest, plants get put on it. Everything gets put on it, gets scraped, gouged, sun damage, you name it. And that could be the reason. I'm wondering at this point whether it'd be worth it to go over it with the Howard's, Howard, uh, Howard's uh, Restorer again. It's just... Uh, there's some shiny areas, and there's some dull areas, and all the rest of it came out nice, though. But I think it just needs some extra attention. If you can see the outside, it looks, depending on the angle, maybe the camera can see it or can't see it. That's why I'm doing this, so you can see. All aspects, okay. And compare it with the inside. It's much shinier in there. I think it might be worth my while to go over it with uh, Howard's Furniture Restore one more time. There may be just nothing I can do about it. But I think I'll give it one more shot before I call it quits on this cabinet. Because it's a shame, because all the rest of it came out really nice. Um, this isn't too bad. I just think it could be better. Okay, this is the final time I'm going to be working on this cabinet. Give it one more shot of the Howard's Restore finish. on the top only. And then I'll give it a couple of coats of the uh, bean and weed tomorrow. I'm gonna 
more aggressively uh, rub this in than I did with the rest of the radio. Restore or finish stuff really stinks, so I don't know how bad it is for you, but. That dark coloration is still there. I can't seem to get it out. I'll try a little bit more. Perhaps it was something that was a stain itself. But it can't seem to rub it out. So I think it'll be there permanently. It does seem to be a little bit more uniform than before. Before there were some shiny areas and some dull areas, and now it's all pretty well dull. Um, but I'd rather have consistency. nothing falls off my desk. I'm rubbing pretty hard. I think that's it for tonight. I take that back. I see one one area right here and down here too. That's kind of like bubbled. The finished bubbled. And I want to be able to dissolve that and smooth it out. Maybe I wasn't pressing as hard at the edges. So I'll get this first.
I almost got it all. This corner and this corner is still shiny and bubbly. So let me see if I can wear that down a little bit. Then I'll call it a night. Well, like I said, it was rubbing pretty hard. You see that? That's an old cassette tape player. Looks like a Coke machine. Hopefully it still works. Okay, let's do a final inspection on here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm done for tonight. I'll put the feed and weed, a couple of coats tomorrow, see how it comes out. That's it for tonight. Thanks. Bye.